Hello everyone, this is Raina Odell. I am here to talk to you guys today about selfies and how important it is to take your selfies and to share your selfies. And not only that, but get good at taking your selfies. Um, it, it sounds so silly, you know, to talk about this and, and to know that we need a training on it, but we, as coaches in this business who have big teams, the girls and I have noticed a ton of coaches who really struggle in this in this part of the business. So we thought it'd be fun to make a little video for you guys and really show you what it is that makes our selfies awesome, <laughs> okay? So in this training, we are going to cover quite a few things. Um, the first thing we're gonna cover is lighting, you know, how and where and you know what to do as far as lighting goes. We're gonna cover positioning, we're gonna talk about different apps that we can use. Um, we're gonna go over how to record and take pictures of your workout, also what equipment you could use, and then we're gonna go over your actual image, so your branding, what it means to take a good selfie and how it's supposed to look and what that does for you as a coach, okay? Why is this important? Why is it important to take these silly selfies and to share them and to get good at them? It's important because it's our job. It's our job to put this image out on social media, um, you know, not necessarily body image or anything like that, but portraying what we do. Workout pictures, meal pictures, selfies, pictures with our Shakeology cups, things like that. All of these things are just daily posts that we should be doing, and a lot of coaches, I think, do not do it because they're they're not good at taking a picture of themselves. I hear a lot of times, I'm not good at taking selfies. So I'm, I'm terrified to put a picture of me on Facebook and things like that. Don't be scared, okay? This video hopefully will help you learn how to do it a little bit easier, a little bit more grace, and a little bit you know more skill. Um, but don't be scared to post a picture, a picture of yourself on Facebook. This is your job. It's your job to share what you're doing, to share your image, to share yourself, um, and inspire others to, to start on the same journey as you are. So do not be scared, okay? So we're going to start going piece by piece into breaking down what it takes to actually take a good selfie, okay? Go towards the light. <laughs> Follow the light. No, but really... Find a good area in your house that has natural lighting, okay? We see a lot of times people taking pictures with the light in the background or with no light or, you know, fluorescent lights, and it just looks terrible. So I encourage you to find a window, face the window, and use that position, that area to take your picture. Um, how about this? <laughs> So the first picture is me with the light in the background, with the natural light coming through the window. It's very light. Half my face is kind of, you know, cut off almost because it's so bright coming through that window. Um, the other picture, the second picture, is me facing away from the window as well, but with the camera also towards the light. So both of these are not okay. Both of these pictures are terrible, honestly. So this one has too much lighting. The second one has not enough lighting. You want people to be able to see you, the real you, and actually, you know, see what you look like. So this is the finished product. This is where I actually took the time to turn around and face the window and have the natural light hit my face. It's not too much shadow. It's not too much light popping through the background. It's just the right color, okay? Positioning and angles. Wow! How many of you have turned the camera around on your phone to where it looks like that because you're looking down at it. That's so embarrassing. It happens, but we also see a lot of coaches posting these same things not on not on accident, on purpose, because they don't know the right angle to shoot their self, to shoot their face, to be the most flattering. And that's, I think, what a lot of coaches struggle with. Um, I'll scroll through my newsfeed and see, I could name off 10 coaches who I've seen 100 double chins that don't really have double chins just because of the way they're shooting and the way they're holding their camera. So I encourage you guys, pay attention to that, okay? If you look at my pictures or you look at Chelsea's pictures or Katie or Joelle or, or Andrea, you're not gonna see a double chin. You're not gonna see us doing all these crazy angles. You're gonna see normal pictures straight on, getting our face in natural light and catching what we really look like, okay? Different apps. 
I wanted to cover some just some apps that we use. Um, these are all specifically on my phone. All of them are on my phone. <laughs> I don't know how many I actually use, but I do use quite a bit. Um, just my photos here, and then I use Rana a lot. Um, to add text to my pictures, to make it a little fun. Um, after light I use for some coloring and filter effects. Photo frame I use to do my side-by-sides and my mirrored images. Um, I use Word Swag a lot to put uh, pictures on my images. Uh, Facetune is a pretty good one as well. Layout is, is very uh, good. It's like another one you can do uh, different frames and, and collages and things like that. Video Shop I use a lot for my videos when I record my workouts as well as Pick Play Post. I use all those as well. Um, iMovie, Splice, all good video apps. So take a screenshot of this, take a picture of this, remember which ones I, I have up here. I hear all the time, what app to use for this? What app to use for that? And it's a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> I want to be like, go to your phone and just search. So go to your phone, search photo editing apps, search video apps, things like that. All of these are going to pop up and be available for your use. Okay, so I highly invest, or I highly recommend investing in some of these. I know some of them are like 99 cents, stuff like that. So get some good apps, use some good filters, make your pictures look fun, add some words to them. Don't cover your face with words. Um, you know, just be conscious. People want to see your face. They want to see you. Your posts need to be personal. And so if you're adding words or anything like that to a make sure it's not distracting from the actual picture. Say hello to my little friend. This is my selfie tripod. <laughs> I use this thing daily. I got it on Amazon for like $3.50, I think, and I highly recommend investing in one. I use this when I prop myself up, or prop myself, prop my phone up for my workouts. Uh, I use it to record my workouts, all kinds of things. Um, there's even an app that we, that was in, listed there called Timer Cam. So I can set my timer, sit down on my ball, pose with my weights in the air, and it'll count down from 5, 10, 20, 30. It'll count down and then take a picture while I'm in that pose. I also record myself doing this, so I, I will, you know, set my selfie tripod up. I will click record, turn the screen to face me so I can see myself and make sure I'm in the frame. And then I record it and use pick, play, pick, play, post. Oh my gosh, pick, play, post or video shop or something like that to edit these videos and, and post them on social media. Highly recommend investing in a selfie tripod. Selfie sticks are amazing also. If you can't grasp and do the arm good enough, <laughs> I know it's challenging. Um, but I highly recommend investing in one of these selfie tripods. It seriously, seriously, seriously changed my selfie game. So all of this is important. Um, all of the lighting, the positioning, um, you know, the equipment, the videos, all of this is important because your job is your image, okay? I'm not saying you have to be blonde hair, blue eyed. I'm not saying you have to be tan and long brown hair. I'm just saying that you need to portray you. And if you're not doing that in a way that flatters you, it's gonna not, not hurt your business, but it's not gonna benefit you at all. So I highly recommend taking the time to practice taking pictures and practice doing things that um, are gonna benefit your business in the way that it should, and, the, and benefit in posting, and benefiting in you know the quality of your pictures. Um, you really need to look the part. I'm not saying you need professional pictures done. I'm not saying you have to have the wind blowing your hair. I'm just saying that this is your business, and you are in charge of creating your image. So, as we end this little video, why do we take selfies? Why is this important? because it's your job. Again, this is the way we show people what we're doing on a daily basis. If your face isn't in it, it's not personal enough. You need to be the face of your business and you need to be proving that you are a product, okay? You need to be proving that you're working out. You need to be proving that you're drinking Shakeology. Those Shakeology selfies are a requirement, people. Make sure you're sharing what you're doing because if you're not sharing it on a daily basis, if you're not taking those silly pictures, people aren't really going to know what you're what you're up to and what you're promoting and and what your what your business is about. It's more than just a vain picture of yourself. I promise. And if you have people say that it's a vain picture of yourself or give you you know a hassle over sharing your selfies, 
let that fuel your fire because doing this and getting good at this and getting good at presenting yourself is going to be one of the best things you can do in your business. I wish you guys the best of luck and I will talk to you later today.